So the National Environment and Planning Agency, NEPA, is urging members of the public to be extremely cautious in known crocodile habitats as the animals are likely to be displaced uh, during heavy rains. What do you do if you happen to see a crocodile? Um, we've invited Conservation Officer Ecosystems Management Branch at uh, NEPA, uh, Treya Picking, to share more on the subject. Good morning, Treya. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. Hi, good morning. Um, let me start with what I just said. Am I supposed to know where these habitats are? Um, it's important to know where these habitats are. So our crocodiles are mainly concentrated along the south coast of Jamaica. And we have small isolated populations along the north coast. I always tell people when you see a body of water, whether a pond, a mangrove swamp, um, a coastal lagoon, the rivers, even the sea, it's always important to exercise caution and to just be, you know, on alert for crocodile presence. Okay, so there are no areas that you just described that you can be certain that there are no crocodiles? Um, I think the best bet is some areas along the north coast, but there are definitely, you know, it is a possibility for crocodiles to be anywhere where there is a body of water just because they can travel great distances they can move quite far inland also um but then again you know the chances of encountering one do lessen in certain areas yeah. more than others. go back to my first question if mm -hmm. i'm supposed to know where the habitats are how would i know mm -hmm. that is there any material that i could uh, google or something that could tell me that in jamaica um there is there's not an official document that you know lists crocodile habitat that is something that the agency is working on um but there is a lot of outreach material and persons can contact nepo and ask for this information just call our number yeah and there is a lot of information on social media and on nepo's website yeah. we, we had a little chat before we came on and you you said you <laughs> call the name american crocodiles is that the yes. official name of them in jamaica and why are they called yes. american crocodiles so they are called American crocodiles because they are the crocodile of the Americas. They're found in 18 countries, including Jamaica. And their, their range like starts from the tip of Florida throughout, the cent throughout Central America, around parts of the Caribbean, and the northern section of South America. Yeah. The heavy rains, and I said it at the top, but I'm sure you will uh, say that also, that they can be displaced. Mm -hmm. Um, yes, I, I kind of don't want to reach the stage that if I see one, what I must do, because I know what I would do, uh, but in a very <laughs> serious way. Um, how, how, um, I was talking to Clive about it, and uh, he was telling me that they are pretty fast. Like, I don't think they run. I don't know. They crawl. I don't know what they do, but they do it quickly. Yeah. So they can um, actually so catch me if I am running away from them? No. Crocodiles are not as fast on land. They have like short sporadic bursts where they high walk, but you would definitely be able to outrun a crocodile if you ran in a straight line, not a zigzag line as people always hear about, um, but they are much faster in water. Well, hang on one second, because Clive told me this morning that you should not run in a straight line, you should run in a zigzag line. <laughs> no. no, run in a straight line, just exit the area if you see a crocodile, just move away. Whether slowly or fast, just do not trouble the animal. Yeah. Again, we, when we were talking before, uh, there are no n n numbers definite. No that's you there, by the way, Chair? Yeah, that's me doing a crocodile. With a crocodile? Yes. And you are sitting so comfortably with the crocodile, Chair? Yeah. We Why? have it. <laughs> Why, please? Um, because we're trained. So we're trained to respond to crocodile incidents. There's certain techniques that we use to restrain the animal and to gently pick them up, carry them to a suitable habitat and release them when we have cases of displacement or human crocodile conflict. No, sir. No, sir. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I hate to ask it. Well, I don't hate to ask the question. I shall ask the question. Have you ever been hurt by one of them? No. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Thank what, you. Yeah. Going back to what I said, what about the, the population? So currently the population status across the island is unknown. We are currently conducting a countrywide survey to determine their population and also their distribution and also the habitat availability. Um, 
And what has happened since the early 2000s, there have been increasing threats towards the crocodiles, such as poaching, illegal poaching for their tail meat. And there's been a lot of habitat loss and fragmentation, illegal captures, indiscriminate killings, the list goes on. So we really don't know what has happened to the population and how badly it's been affected, uh, particularly in certain natural wetland areas. Do you have any idea at all? Hundred thousand, no. two thousand. I, I really couldn't say. Like we're currently conducting it, and the results are quite interesting. And in some areas, it's not what I expect. Like it's a lot lower okay. than what should be in that area. Yeah, you say crocodile, the tail meat. Mm -hmm. That's illegal, though, right? Very, very, very much illegal, and it's been growing on the black market since the early two thousands, unfortunately. And it's something we're trying to combat. Um, it's a really bad practice, it's unsustainable, and it's also very dangerous to consume for, the, for, for people. Like, we just don't know what the effects could be on people's health. What you say? So it's not, it's, it's not like a delicacy? What do you mean dangerous? To, it might hurt us because we just, if it's not what? We don't have to cook it and stuff? Yes, but one of the things that crocodile, one of the places that crocodiles live, this is one of the many reasons, one of the places that crocodiles are found are sewage ponds and oh. they live they live in sewage ponds um partly in response to the loss of natural wetland habitat elsewhere uh, so it's something we are looking into and researching but a crocodile living in a sewage pond that that can't be healthy that can't be healthy for anyone who chooses to illegally capture kill and then consume a crocodile yeah what's the punishment for that by the way um, it's up to up to a hundred thousand dollar fine, or up to one year in prison. Which I I believe it it should be more. <laughs> but I, I don't think I've ever heard anyone going to jail because they either captured, killed, or or had um, a crocodile for for dinner. Yeah, I mean there. Chair, is a chair, lot wait, more man, chair, wait, man, chair, wait, no man, that's you again, chair. <laughs> Yes, that's with some hatchlings that were born in captivity, and we have a conservation program for them. So we work at NEPA. We work with a lot of entities, uh, wildlife entities, to um, to to strengthen the conservation and management efforts of our American crocodile in Jamaica. Where did this come from with you that you have no fear <laughs> of this and stuff? It, 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 you're not scared at all. I mean, I'm not scared because I know what I'm doing. Like I, you know, I'm. I educate myself on the matters. I'm trained in crocodile response. Yeah. So I know there's certain practices to carry out when doing such activities. Um, I mean, I, I, I love the crocodile a lot because it's a very misunderstood species. There's a lot of misinformation, which has fueled a lot of hate and fear towards the animal, which isn't necessarily, you know, it, it can be avoided. Yeah. Um, and so I want to be a voice for the misunderstood species of Jamaica and help people appreciate and better understand yeah. our wildlife and live alongside them. Right. Fantastic. All right. Some crockwise tips. Give me some yes. quickly before we leave here now. What should we do? What should we not do? Okay. So number one, um, the first rule I always say is leave crocodiles alone. Do not provoke. Do not harass. Do not feed them. Um, do not harm them and do not attempt to capture them. Just leave them alone and call NEPA or the nearest police station if they are in areas outside of their natural habitat or if they're threatening human activity or they're being harmed or harassed. The other thing I always say is crocodiles are most active during the night. Um, this is when they go out to hunt for fish, for crabs, for birds and so on. And they are seen in the sea during these times also. So it's very, very important to, to not swim at night if you can, to avoid swimming at night and also to avoid entering their habitat like ponds and different types of wetlands. All right. um, and if you do have to enter, to make your presence known because our crocodiles, their normal behavior is to flee at the sight of humans and exit the area if they see a human entering. Okay, it. we don't have a whole lot of time, so I'm just gonna run mm -hmm. through them. Um, very, very quickly, be vigilant, dispose of food scraps, mm -hmm. exercise extra caution at night, avoid swimming in ponds. Um, as you said, if you see one, move away. And when entering the habitat, the river, stay on high alert. And then mm -hmm. you said, as you said, call NEPA and the police. Yes. Fantastic. Yeah. You know your stuff. I have, to give you a little <laughs> I have to give you a little joke. My phone is right beside uh -huh. here. And while you're talking, it vibrated and I went... <laughs> 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 
I went like that. I do not ever thought it was a crocodile or what, but it was so funny a while ago. I got a little nervous. Thank you so That's much. That's funny. And you please be safe. I know you're not scared and I, I know will. you know what you're doing, but please not only be safe from the crocodiles, but be safe from the, the virus. Great to have you with us this morning. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, man. Trey Picking, uh, Conversation Officer, Conservation Officer, Ecosystems Management Branch at NEVA. All right, coming up next, we hear more about the new quality assurance standards for teachers and teacher training institutions. We soon come.